Our Saeed from the Irvins, writer, producer, creator, co-creator, along with my brother. And we're here with Rolling Out. What's up, party people? It's your boy, comedian extraordinaire, Rodney Perry. And I'm coming at you for the Urban Hottest New Comedy Show on Tubi right now. Uh, and you're tuned in to Rolling Out. What is going on, everybody? Rolling Out Star Studio, your host, Malik Brown, is back. And we are here with two amazing people today. We are here with Rodney Perry. We're here with Arsai Green, producers, writers of the Urbans. My fellas, how are we doing today? Hey, it's a great day, man. And, and a happy holidays to you and your family, Malik. Definitely, definitely. Happy holidays to you as well. You as well, Mr. Green. Look, man, the Urbans, the Urbans, look. We got it in the background. We see it. We see it. Let the people know, either Rodney or Asai, let, let the people know what is the Urbans all about? Well, the Urbans is a, um, it's a sitcom. It's based in Atlanta, and um, it's called the Urbans because it's, it's off of Urban Avenue. And it's basically um, about the businesses that are on Urban Avenue. And so the, the, the businesses, the business owners on Urban Avenue, um, we have a nickname for them that's called the Urbans. Um, that's for the business owners that are on Urban Avenue. And it centers around me mostly, um, Jay Whitman. And uh, he owns an upholstery shop on Urban Avenue. And so uh, the character that Rodney's playing, he's, he's, he's someone that I, he, he's kind of off of Urban Avenue, um, but he owns a, uh, his, his aunt, Luma, uh, owns like a restaurant inside of a garage and he has a candy shop in there. So I kind of freak with them and um, you kind of go in and out of, uh, my daily life and the people around Urban Avenue, the, the other businesses. And I'm gonna tell you like this, Malik. These dudes is crazy, man. That little man, Mr. Saheed and his brother have gotten their head and created a, a brand new type of comedy, especially for black folks. Because, you know, we a lot of times are in your face comedically. And it was a pleasure for me personally to get to do some, some comedy. Like, this feels more like The Office. This feels more like, you know, um, th those comedies that, 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 that comedy that's not classically urban, but it's still funny, and you still love it, and you really grow to love Saeed's character as you navigate through these, the, each one of the episodes. Wow. <laughs> he said, wow. He said, <laughs> <laughs> I got to go look at myself in the mirror now. <laughs> <laughs> so Roddy, I mean, tell, tell us, of course, you know, giving big, big props to our Saeed, but for your character, I mean, what should we expect from, from your character? Let me tell you something, Malik, I'm going to keep it 1,000. These boys got checks to clear. So <laughs> I show up on the set, I'm not expecting a lot. And then Saeed has this vision, his brother has this vision, we're shooting uh, everybody from the little boy I shared the screen with to, um, uh, uh, uh what was my man name that, that appeared in it, uh, uh, Thelma from Good Times, all these great characters and, you know, nobody's over top, over the top, but they're still like crazy funny, man. And so, um, you know, at the outset for me, I just need to check the clip first. And once it did that. We, we, we was cooking. <laughs> so, so I, being able to produce, you know, write, you know, do something like this with a person like Rodney, you know, everybody else. Um, how, how has that experience been for you? Well, actually, Rodney, you know, Rodney was the first, you know, Tyler was the, Tyler, Tyler, I guess, was the first. Tyler star Craig, the, God rest his soul. Tyler Craig, Tyler Craig. But I knew, I knew Tyler. So, but when I got to Rodney, that's when I was like, okay, I'm kind of moving up. I'm, I'm moving into a different arena now. So, um, uh, but it was fun working with him. It's fun working with him. And it, and it kind of let me know um, where I stand a little bit, you know, with dealing with people that are where I aspire to be. Wow. So that, that uh, 
that helped me out. So by the time I got to Clifton, you know, Clifton was a, you know, uh shout out to Clifton, Clifton Powell, man. Uh Malik, let me tell you something. This dude is understating himself as a director, as a producer, uh, easy to work with. And he'll give you that look sometime, and you'll be like, Did I make a mistake? And he'll be like, Good job. I'm like, oh, whew. yeah, good guys, man. Him and his brother. Man, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of the one of the I, I be I'm looking at Rodney sometimes like, was that all right? Did did I? Hey, <laughs> hey, I need you to give me the scene with that woman with the fat booty. Oh, all right, we're talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think another cool dynamic is um it being you you guys being based in Atlanta, um you know Atlanta is full of culture you know the city the bright lights um it's a lot that goes on as far as I mean it's a lot of comedians here it's a lot of good things going going on here in Atlanta um. What, what, what's been the best thing about it being here in Atlanta in the city? Well, that's been one of the things. Um, one, of the, one of the reasons that my brother and I like working with comedians is because they're already, they're already performers. So one thing about our show um, and any comedy show, man, comedic timing is, it's got to be there. So we, we like to use comedians, even if they're not you know, some of the comedians in our in our show, you don't even know that they're comedians. They're not trying to be comedians on the show, you right. know, but their their timing is still there. We had to kind of learn that one the hard way, you know, by bringing in people that weren't that didn't have comedic timing. Yeah, we kind of learned that. That's a whole other story, but um, we have access to. Uh, I mean, just a plethora of comedians here. And we've always been associated with comedians. My, my best friend's a comedian. My, my best friends are comedians. So we've always been in there. So it was, uh, it was just natural, you know, and that's the best part about uh, being here. There's a lot of great comedians here. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's enough of them. You, you, you know what, also Malik, man, I moved here to Atlanta 13 years ago, right? and Nobody was producing anything. Nobody, uh, they weren't hiring any principal characters here from Atlanta, all background actors. And so now, 13 years later, to see a project like the Urban get a chance to be born here in Atlanta is amazing. And so uh, we're producing, we're creating, and and the game has changed, man. It's so many uh, platforms to stream on, and you can catch us on a platform like Tubi, but guess what? You can make some money off Tubi, you know. So it's it's <laughs> not it's, it's not a game. And um, whether you're a comedian or actor here in Atlanta, your opportunity is exponentially more now. Sure, for sure. You know, like you talk about now, you know, um, especially when it comes to diversity, and you know, you guys have a black producer, black actors, uh, black writers. I mean, that that's probably a, a big thing as well. That's a, a yeah, great accomplishment. Everything is everything, bro. Everything's black. Um, talk about that. I mean, the importance of you know having an all black crew, um, and what that does for you know um people that look like us that you know love these type of shows. Yeah, we got um uh uh well Langley Cornwell and Bo Michaelic uh they're in there also, but it's 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 uh you know how my life is the people that I you mean that they white. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but in my everyday life i'm uh it can the, the show kind of mirrors the people that i'm in contact with on a daily basis um but we did want to uh uh show a different side because you know i look at television and there's a lot of there's great material out there but i that i can see myself in something that it I didn't see that my brother and I didn't see that so we said we're going to create something that you know uh, that's a, a thinking man's uh kind of stuff I like um and so yeah we can do that too we, when I say we I mean we black people <laughs> <laughs> is that what you meant man? as far as uh being around uh creating everything from uh, and having just 
that's who we are. We're, yeah. we're you got it, you got it, Saeed. You killed me. <laughs> yeah, right. You got it. You got it. You know, wrapping up with you guys, um, what what should people expect from the Urbans? What if that's if it's one thing that each of you can tell somebody that's gonna watch the Urbans, what is one thing you want them to take away from this show? Um, I want I want people to be proud of what we're doing. That's one of the most important things. That's one that's one thing I want. I want when you look at it, you walk away from it feeling as though you've elevated a little, you know. We want to keep that, uh, we want to keep the respect, the dignity, you know, those things in what we're doing. You know? I'm going to let Saeed have the dignity. I want your ass to laugh. <laughs> I want you to watch this every episode, whether it's Clifton Powell or whether it's Thelma from Good Times or whether it's my brother Saeed or myself. I want you to go, wow, that was funny. And and it, you you are definitely going to walk away with that for sure. Well, you know us. We love to laugh. We love to have fun. I think this show brings everything that we want in a show in a good show. So thank you guys for coming on. Speak with us. Mr. Arsae Green, Rodney Perry, thank you guys for coming on. Speak with us about the urban. Before you go, let the people know where they can find you guys on social media. Make sure you plug the urbans and plug yourself. On Instagram, R Saeed, that's R S A E E D G R E E N. Um, that's the only one I have. Well, Green Company Pictures. Green Company Pictures is the name of my company, my brother and I. And the Urban Show. Hey, you can catch the Urbans on Tubi right now. My name is Rodney Perry, Rodney Perry Live on all social media. And I want to thank you, Malik, for wearing pants, man. Like, because I know, I know sometimes you be like, you know what? I all I got all they gonna see me for the waist up. And <laughs> hey, you can't forget the pants, man. Can't how can you, how can it's you tell? It's about the way a person talks to let you know he got pants on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, thank y'all so much for coming on. Thank you everybody for listening. Rolling out Star Studio, your host, Malik Brown, my two special guests, Arsai Green, Rodney Perry of the Urbans, and we are out. Thank you.